What's going on guys, this is Chris Chaos back here with the Raw 411 and Raw to me tonight wasn't that great of a show but sometimes it is what it is and we just got to move on with it. Uh, so I got a lot to get to so I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, Piper's Pit started off the show tonight, uh, the show uh, trying to pull John Cena into uh, the Piper did with trying to pull him in to try to uh, get the, have the fans reactions mean more to him because you know forever seen as like do whatever you want I don't care it doesn't bother me and Piper was trying to get what happens to fuel him a little bit uh, I kind of felt like and even before Cena came out I felt like this was going to be Piper trying to turn John Cena heel mentioned it on Twitter John Cena came out and they had their back and forth a lot of people recognized it tweeted about it we talked about it back and forth uh, but I like to think I was one of the first ones to to say that. However, over the entire WWE universe, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, Cena gets slapped by Piper, and Cena just takes it and leaves. And it, it was kind of dumb. And but it was the only Cena segment the whole night. So I guess we kind of got lucky. That segment wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be. Epic fail, WWE, waste of time and money. Uh, the Miz and Morrison, I know, I know, with Brodus Clay, uh, whatever. I, I don't know, I don't care. I don't care if I ever see Brodus Clay at this point because they've said it for the last six weeks that he was going to be on the show, that he was going to make his return, and they hyped it and hyped it. I don't care if he ever comes back now. So, y'all, WWE has pissed me off about that. If he does come back, I'm going to bash him. And that's just the way it is. And I ought to shoot on WWE for not bringing him back. Uh, they keep rewriting the show, and I'm sure that's what happened tonight. Uh, so they put Miz and Morrison together uh, for Morrison's last match. False count anywhere. Miz attacks Morrison with a lead pipe. They had a nice little back and forth, uh, maybe about a 10-minute spill. And uh, Morrison goes into the big WWE emblem or whatever, face first. Uh, it looked like he didn't protect himself really well when he went into it either. So it looked like it, he might have a, a sore jaw in the morning. Uh, and trust me, I went back and forth with the DVR after the show and watched it. Uh, yeah, he's, he's probably going to have a sore jaw in the morning if it's not already sore tonight. Uh, and then he gets skull crushed and he's carted out. Uh, Divas tag team was uh, tag team action. Bellas versus Foxy and Kelly. Foxy wins. But the the strange thing about this match was that Beth and Natty jogged around the ring and then left. That was, I mean, the Divas last couple of pay per views have had really great matches, and then on Raw they're doing shit like that, and it's stupid. Whatever. Orton uh, versus Dolph Ziggler. The great. Uh, a great setup for them, uh, but I don't think it was a great match. Uh, I, I liked the match. I think it was well built, well put together, told a great story. Uh, the end where Wade distracts Randy and Ziggler gets the win, big win for Ziggler. Uh, look, I'm telling you, Ziggler last week against Punk, this week against Orton, he is a main event guy. I'm telling you, he could main event any pay-per-view for a world heavyweight title. I don't care what anybody says. Buy stock, I am sold. Uh, Zack Ryder versus uh, Zack Ryder versus uh, Jack Swagger. Uh, this was just another match to put Ryder over. Swagger's not doing anything, so there you go. Uh, more props for Jack, uh, Zack Ryder. And the woo 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 click going ahead uh, with the Ryder Revolution. I did love the Daniel Bryan, Michael Cole thing uh, because it brought more heat to the smack for SmackDown tomorrow night, which of course is going to be a live uh, broadcast tomorrow night, which is different. They never do that. Uh, and then add Mark Henry. It really builds more drama for the for the match tomorrow night, which I'm really excited about watching. And I will I will do a a special SmackDown preview uh, for tomorrow, considering it's live. Why the hell not? Uh, CM Punk versus Alberto Del Rio. Uh, Punk defeats Del Rio. Uh, if Punk got disqualified, he was going to lose the title. But you know what? This match wasn't as great as Survivor Series, and I think that uh, it wasn't going to be. Uh, but, you know, that's just life, and that's just the way it is. Uh, they tried to recreate 
uh, a, a scenario and it's, it just didn't work out uh, like they probably like they wanted it to but you know what that's just the way it works sometimes sometimes it does sometimes it don't anyway uh, it was a good match it just wasn't great now I'm done chaos is spoken deuces I'm out I will see you guys later